All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. It's time to finally get the back half of this car painted, so let's go to work. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wet sand this top with 400. I've got a sheet of 400, sheet of 500, and even a sheet of 600. Um, I'll probably finish sand this with 600. I don't wanna cut through it at all, if I can help it, just like the other places. I uh, had a little bit of cut through here, and I just spot primed that some. Uh, this was my big problem last week I left off left you off with this channel they had put that giant piece of silicone in and there was like I think three small rust holes so you know size of my thumbnail or something one on each corner and then one kind of about midways and I think that happened because all that dirt and stuff got trapped I went ahead and ground it all out basically down to bare metal I uh, shot it with uh, Eastwood Rust Encapsulator. I uh, let that flash off really well. And then I wiped it with POR patch and a little bit of fiberglass over those holes. So instead of just using fiberglass, here's an example of the POR patch. I smeared a little over that uh, hole that was there. But it, it dries as very hard stuff. Let me okay, show There you. it is. This is a screw. See, it's... Pretty hard stuff. So what I'm going to end up doing is rough sanding over that. I, I rough sanded all of this with 180 over and over and over again and just smeared my spot putty into it. Level out any funky spots. I did use a little bit of filler over the top of it here, like on both corners. I don't have it. No, any doubt in my mind that this won't last forever. So... Just wanted to give you an update on that. See, I got a little smeared out to here still. Uh, and I'm gonna have to sand way on past that line just to make it all nicely flow and work with the trim. I did fill in my old trim screw holes. And whenever I get it located before painting, I'm gonna find those holes and drill them a little bit smaller so that I'll have some new, kind of new traction for the screws. I'll show you this side. Same thing over here. So my, my putty's drying. That's going, most of that's getting sanded out. So that is the U-pole stuff. It seems to be pretty good stuff. Uh, another spot up here. Like it's, it's hard stuff. I mean, there, there's a little coming off there, but I didn't actually take this down to bare metal like I did all this stuff because there was no rust up here. So I'll get that cleaned out before the spray. Gonna get the top blocked. Uh, trunk lids coming off to get painted just so I can get down in that jam. Are you here? Went ahead and got my trunk rubber off. It was pretty much destroyed. And I need to get that cleaned up. It'll be easier, like I said, with the lid off. I'm not doing this trunk jams. Uh, I'm sorry, the bottom side of the trunk. I'm doing the trunk jams. So it all look nice when you raise the trunk and you look and see. Ooh, next day coming at you. Had a little spot here, just where my grinder had got into, because it, it was showing signs of rust, so that had to go. Went ahead and wiped it yesterday before I left, so it'd be nice and dry now. I can sand all that smooth, feather it out perfectly. Had a dent right here. Um, didn't realize it till I blocked the top, but the top is blocked. You can see it kind of shining. Like a marbly finish, sort of. I got a little bit right there. See that? That texture, it's got to go. Uh, Corby's gonna be here in a minute. He'll help me get the trunk lid off. And then I can uh, sand that trunk jam and all that stuff, so. I think my plan will be uh, jack the rear of the car up some, get it about level so that I can paint way up under there and not have to lay on my face. But also I don't want it up so high that I can't reach the roof. Went ahead and kicked the door up here. Working on that trunk rubber, you can't just scrape the rubber off because there's adhesive and stuff underneath it. So I got my wire wheel out for that. And then had to get my Dremel out. Still not done in here. See little, there's a mixture between lead and rust and seam sealer. Uh, kind of all those seams. So that stuff's gotta come out more scraped out fight it out of there there's no actual like rust holes anywhere which is nice but there were a few spots where it was starting to come up i cleaned out that channel 
pretty good. Uh, I got to keep working on that, but I wasn't going to film it because it's mostly just me struggling and uh, wishing I wasn't doing it. But the car is ready to shoot. I am going to use a coat of sealer on this because I've got plenty of show through spots, kind of where that the old ugly trunk jam was. I primed that once and uh, re-sanded it all. A few little spots like that and all that stuff. I also wanted to show you my fixes back here. That is my spot putty. So sealing over it will give me a nice uh, kind of just layer between it and the new paint. So I'll get my sealer on, let it flash off nicely and go ahead and shoot. Got a little spot of burn through there. I shot primer over it and just scuffed it. Uh, I got to finish taping up the doors and that trim there. Um, doing my back jam part at the bottom. This car should be red by the end of the day. Lord willing. Got my sealer shot. Got almost no trash. I have not found a run at all, which is nice. There's a little bit of... There it is. A little bit of thing there. I can knock it off with some uh, 400. And that's it. I'll be shooting some red on here soon. I'm trying to beat the weather, but I'm not going to rush my paint. So if I get the get the base on and something happens, then I'll call timeout and do something different. So to prevent fish eyes, like I had last time, you can hear my drain over there. Uh, it's open, the dryer, what are you gonna call it? Water separator. I got it open on the compressor as well. And I put that very first coat on very, very lightly. That's why you can see all this splotchiness. I don't care what people say. I would rather put it on lighter than heavier, especially on the base. You know, there's no strength in the base, they say. But it is about 108. I'm going to give it 30 minutes. Come back and check it. Shoot another. I didn't get carried away. I just, uh, if it looked like trash, I denibbed it. That was the first coat of base anyway. So any little thing at all, it had to go. It'll let that second coat lay down better and not just keep building up whatever. But I'm good and tacked off. Uh, my paint mentor, Brian, basically said, you know, if you're, if you're walking around feeling of your tape and whatever, feel the tape that's on metal, like this is a piece of trim, versus the rubber, because the rubber has a different surface temperature than the metal does, and they'll tack at different uh, temperatures, whatever you want to call it. That's kind of neat. I never, it never occurred to me, you know, but... I'm nice and tacked off here. This is a good 3M uh, plastic that everything sticks to. See? It's nice. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that other base and I'll bring it back for clear. Base is on and denibbed. And then I put my very last coat on. You can't really denib it very much. 
as in get the trash out of it um, after that one coat uh, at, or before the final coat is what I'm trying to say but I've got a really nice even sheen here um, minimal trash at all I had a little bug somewhere through here you can kind of see him pick that out um, but yeah I'm clears mixed up I think I'm ready to shoot it on and I'm gonna do two coats like I did uh, the other half the car and I think what it'll be uh, first coat is medium light and then second coat is medium heavy uh, try not to get any runs this time but that's why I didn't go ahead and sand my doors and other stuff I'm, I'm gonna have to if I can't buff this stuff out, I'm going to re-clear it. So when I do that, I'm sure I'll have a spot somewhere in the back that also needs it. But anyway, it's go time. I need to tack it off and shoot her up. So here's my plan. I'm not going to film this. I'm going to clear the rest of the car. I'm going to do the spots that I want to look the best. I'm going to do those first. Such as the top the tops of the quarters and then I'm going to lastly walk the sides of the quarters low and do anything there and down I think that spraying up here first I've read somewhere that it, the, the clear will like tie back into it somehow and you'll have less dry spray my fans on that side of the shop anyway so you know if you I've heard it two different ways you start over here the clear comes over and, and lands as it's on its way to the fan. There's the overspray does. I heard it as you should spray over here and that way you don't have dry spray over here. I don't know. I'm going to clear the car. I'm going to show you all the finished product. Here we go. Here's the paint job that you always didn't want. It's pretty okay. That's best I can describe it. My panels look really nice and straight. That's what I was going for. I uh, see I got a run happening here. Um, you know, just runs all around. The trunk gutters, best I can tell, this rear panel looks super nice. Uh, top of this quarter looks good. A little bit of trash, not bad. Uh, panel here, nice. Uh, our roof looks really pretty good, and I'm I'm gonna stop talking about it or it'll, it'll uh, fall off. I had a little bit of trash here, easy fix. Um, like I said, just a little trash over it, which you'll have that. I had to kick, kick the fan off and on. Here's my big ugly run. Boy, howdy. Um, so, yeah, I, I'll just probably wet sand the uh, entire car, back half of the car, and then reshoot that clear on there. I might even get out my good gun. I don't know. But I'm glad I got it shot today, even if it poured down rain. Uh that quarter top looks good also. Had a little trash right there. I don't know why. Run! Top. Pretty nice. So, it was a good solid couple of weeks worth of work um, getting it to this point. But, got plenty of clear left. Got plenty of paint left. So, here it is. I'm not going to peel this plastic yet until I know um, for my next painting. I will... Probably go ahead and peel the trim just because it's easy enough to retape and I don't want that sticking later and hosing me. So, 